In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the truth value from a written statement. If you've been following along in our previous videos, we looked at how to find the truth value from a symbolic statement. So we're actually taking a step back and looking at possible statements, like actual sentences, decoding them into symbols, and then subsequently creating the truth table. Therefore, this requires a little bit more work. Our question reads, find the truth value of the following statement. And the first one is, if Little Rock is the capital of Arkansas, that statement is true, then New York City is the capital of New York. Now, New York City is not the capital of New York, it's Albany. So that statement is false. So we have a conditional statement here, if and then, and two statements. Little Rock is the capital of Arkansas, and the other sentence, New York City is the capital of New York. You would then assign a letter for each of these statements. We'll call this P and Q. And this would be written down symbolically as P with a arrow pointing to the right, Q. For a full list of operators, refer to this list above. So what we have to do is create a truth table. And for each of these statements, P and Q, you will have a dedicated column, P, Q, and to determine the amount of rows, you'd use the formula 2 to the power of n, where n represents the total number of statements. In our case, it's p and q, that's 2. So 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4. We should have four combinations where this is true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. The next column in your truth table should be if p, then q. Now, when it comes to conditions, you need to refer to the following, which tells us that the condition if P then Q is only false if and only if you have a scenario where the antecedent P is true and the consequent Q is false. That's the only time when the condition is false. Everything else is true, and that will be reflected in our example. In our case here, both of these are true. That means that would be true. The antecedent here is true. This is false, so this should be false. And remember, that's the only time when it is false. The antecedent here is false, but the consequent Q is true. That makes this true. Finally, if both of them are false, then that makes it true. Think of it as a double negative. Technically, two negatives make a positive. It's not written here, but you should make a note of it. At this point, you want to analyze each row. The only one that holds true to the statement is row 2 because we know that the first statement is true, and that's reflected right here, and the second statement, highlighted in green, is false. And that's reflected right there. So according to the second line of the truth table for the conditional, this statement is false. So there's our introductory example. If you'd like to see the answers to B and C, make sure you watch part two of this series, which is coming up soon.